big up this person on Twitter for posting this picture because um, I've seen it before. I've seen it before, but I never knew it was a cruising thing. So big up um, George Michael. I never made that connection. So big up this person on Twitter for posting these pictures and saying, fuck it, I'm dressing up as George Michael cruising for Halloween. So this is an iconic image of George Michael. It might look like that might be LA based on where it's from or maybe San Francisco um, near a toilet somewhere. And it looks like he's cruising, you know, as a gay guy, you know, trying to get his freak on. R.I.P. George Michael, the fucking legendary guy. Love him, love him, love him. And what I realized quickly after watching or looking at these pictures is how low down his hat is on his face. Obviously, he's doing it to cover his face so no one sees this George Michael, even though you can, you know, you can spot that iconic beard from anywhere. He still pulled it really far down, right? His face, so you can kind of hardly see his face. And then on the other image, it's even clearer right how far down his face that hat is and you know what it reminded me of it reminded me of the recent balenciaga collection for spring 2025 and it got me thinking did demna get inspired not by leonardo dicaprio and his refusal to let the paparazzi get a clean shot of him and always kind of covering his face right so he's covering his face with a hat he's always kind of putting his head down covered with glasses he puts his jacket over his mouth he fucking hates the paps right so i thought the hat was inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio and his refusal to let the pap get a free picture of his grill as he's running around, probably, you know, probably fucking chin is swinging from side to side, face probably covered with ulcers and shit. I don't know why he does it, but he doesn't like people taking his picture, right? So I thought that was what he inspired by, but I was wondering, having now seen his picture of George Michael cruising, I'm thinking maybe Demna was actually inspired by George Michael and not Leonardo DiCaprio, which makes more sense, isn't it? With George Michael being gay and shit, it would make more sense him being inspired by him, especially him being a gay icon. But I'm wondering, I think that's where the inspiration come from for this hat, courtesy of the Spring 2025 collection. I think that's where it came from. This hat design that he made for Balenciaga, where essentially, if you're not watching the clip, if you're not seeing what I'm posting on the screen, what he designed is a hat. And I've heard from somebody, actually, somebody left me, somebody left me a comment that the actual hat you can see through it so it's designed with a type of material where it looks like you can't see through it from the front but it's somewhat semi-transparent on the back and it's also designed in a way that covers your face because at first i thought it's just a regular hat and the stylist has styled it in a way where she sort of just tilted, tilted it to the front but actually according to this commenter it's actually designed in a way where it kind of fits your head that way so it's kind of covering most of your face so i'm thinking maybe the design that he copied or the inspiration for this, especially with the logo. Look at the logo. It's got that Balenciaga B logo that almost looks like an Oakley O, which is similar and very on point to this logo that George Michael has on his hat, right? So I wonder if that's the inspiration. Maybe the inspiration is this George Michael hat and not Leonardo DiCaprio, because I think I think the hat he's wearing is a George Ma is an Oakley hat. I think so. The hat that George Michael has on there is some Oakley hat. So I think that that's a brand. So I think that's where that comes from. So maybe that's where the, the design of that hat actually comes from. Uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. But either way, I'm really looking forward to seeing that hat when it actually does eventually be available or maybe maybe it's made available on showrooms because I want to see the details. I'd love to see how it's designed on the inside to make it work. I want to see how it's shaped on the inside to fit your nose, where the part of the material is that you can see through it. Allegedly, somebody said you can see through it. It's basically like a mask that is shaped like a hat, basically. I want to see what that looks like in real life because I might want to cop it. It looks fucking sick. I'm not going to lie. But it'll be a good it'll be a good piece to wear if you're, if I'm when I'm doing my DJ live streams or something. I'm fucking going to use that for sure. It looks fucking sick. I really fucking like it. Look at that. It covers your entire face. Because the model's face isn't pointing down, as you can see, because you can kind of see the angle of his ears and stuff. He's looking straight ahead, but... The hat looks like he's, he's, he's kind of looking downwards. It's fucking sick. So I'm really curious to see. And obviously, th there's another one here too featured with the spikes on it too that I think is going to be the most popular one. I think I'm going to... I think I'm definitely going to see this on my techno tourism travels around Europe, especially Berlin. I think I'm going to see a bunch of people wearing this particular hat with the studs on it. So I'm curious to know what if, if that's true or not. I guess we'll find out at some point. I guess we'll find out at some point.